Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we're going to be making a card using this gorgeous um, card and pet toppers etc from this lovely hunky dory collection. So first of all starting out with this pretty butterfly bluebell piece of card I'm going to use this for my card base it's A4 so I'm going to score it in half which is a little bit fiddly with A4 because it doesn't always work precisely but I'm scoring that down the middle and then I'm going to fold it so that the pattern is on the inside I do this quite often and I really like the effect of having the pattern on the inside because I know I'm going to be covering up the front that's white anyway so to put the pattern on the inside I think just add something really pretty and a very simple way to get a nice effect on the inside as you can see it just looks really nice and we're going to do a little bit more to that as well so then I'm going to add the patterned card to the front and to do this I'm going to use some double-sided tape so that it sticks down pretty firmly pretty quick but I'm also going to add in my lovely favorite cosmic shimmer glue which gives the benefit of the strength because I, I I think this double-sided tape of mine was a little bit old but also it gives us sort of the benefit of having the instant stick of the double-sided tape but also a slight movement for a couple of seconds with the cosmic shimmer so I can position that down making sure it's in exactly the right place whereas if it was just the tape you would might find you've stuck it down completely before you meant to and then rather than cut it to size you see I stick the whole sheet down and then I cut the excess off I found in the past that this is a much safer way of doing it because you as I said with A4 it can be a little bit fiddly to get the sizing correct so as you can see it looks really pretty with the pattern on the inside and then that beautiful pattern on the outside but as I said earlier I did want to add a little something more to the inside so I took one of the borders from the collection which complements the design and as you can see again I haven't cut this to size it's always so much easier to do this afterwards and I also use my cosmic shimmer for this so on the hunky dory adorable scorable you will find that it slips around for a little bit because the adorable scorable is coated but don't think oh it's not going to stick it will stick just give it time just literally put it down and leave it to go off and set and it will be absolutely stuck fast so I can see there I'm just adding some of the little baby toppers that were in the collection and you'll see I just put the adhesive down the center of it there's no point in trying to stick the edges down it just is going to sort of make it curve and not look right and then finally for the inside I'm just cutting the excess of that border off and there it is done and I just think that looks so pretty just adds that little bit extra to the inside and I'm loving this outside and I really thought that for something like this it would really work to have this doily on the front it's got that kind of vintage feel with the lovely soft white flowers so I thought that would work really well and then I've taken my topper and again I'm just doing this flat so I'm not um, using any 3d glue or foam or anything I'm just using my cosmic shimmer so I'm putting this lovely topper which is actually the same image as the one that's in the background there and I just think that works really well and then I'm taking some of the little toppers and just positioning those around the car just to add a little interest and again with my cosmic shimmer I've got a little bit of movement time so I could just fiddle with this to get it in the right angle and then here I have my sentiment and again I'm just sticking it onto the topper itself I haven't even attempted to try and stick the other end down because you would just end up bending it and then I felt that it just needed a little something more on the top there I just thought it was a little bit too even I thought three would look better so I just took this little butterfly and stuck that down and I thought that looked really pretty then the last thing I really wanted to do was add a lovely silk bow so I've taken my creative expressions um, cream silky crush ribbon I really love this silky crush ribbon and my bow maker and I'm just going to make a lovely bow to go on that corner there I think that um, it needed to be of a reasonable size so I've done it to the largest but one um, hole I guess you'd call it I'm not really sure of the bow maker and then when I'm pulling those um, tails I'm just making sure as I'm tightening them that they're sitting nicely 
because that's the back of your bow there that you're doing so the front here um, so you want them sitting out flat at the back there so it's worth just fiddling around as you're tightening them at the back just to keep them nice and then I wanted to have the little V um, tails so all you do is fold it in half and then cut at an angle and then you get the perfect V in your tails so then to stick it down I've just used some glue dots because it's a reasonable size bow I'm going to use a couple of these glue dots just to make sure it stays stuck they're really good though I do love glue dots I always forget to use them actually and they're really strong and they really do stick a bow down well so I've put three down because it's going to stick with the bow but also I'm just going to allow it to hold those tails in place without it looking like it's being held in place if that makes sense and then I thought well actually the tails were just a little bit long so I've just folded them in half again and chopping them at that angle then the last thing I wanted to do was add this lovely pearl dazzler to the center of the bow I just think that finishes it off and to do that I just used another glue dot and I think the pearl works with the style of the card that kind of vintage lavender and lace type feel to it so I think that looks really nice and that is it that is our card finish so although it looks quite fancy it's actually a really simple card to make and I think that when you use quality materials like a hunky dory collection you really do get a great finished result from a relatively simple card that you put together so I hope you like it as much as I do I think it turned out really pretty again as always if you're on YouTube make sure that you you go to the paragraph below this video click on show more and there you'll find the link to go to the blog post and on the blog post you will find all the links to the products I've used plus as well lots of photos I always go mad with photos so it's always worth going over to see that all right so thank you so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you again soon bye for now bye say hello to my mr. moon like nature I will be renewed I will be renewed I feel falls from a tree as a leaf falls from the tree